my fellow Singaporeans. My father is Tan Cheng Bok, and I'm so proud of him because he risked a whole legacy with the PAP to put himself forward as your candidate. He didn't need to, but he feels that Singapore needs a unifying figure, someone who can bring the nation together above politics, above race, above incomes. When I was a young boy, I often wondered why my father had to leave the house after dinner. My father always made it a point to come home for dinner because he always said a family that eats together stays together. But he had to go out after dinner. One of his men would pick him up and he would be attending one of the functions organized by his residents or grassroots leaders. I realized that for him, gracing such occasions was not a chore. It was a love. I always admire him for how much energy he has for people. Everyone feels so comfortable around him. The mailers you got in there, he says, I have been a part of you. He can say that because he really has. The residents of Ayaraja will tell you that. I know if he becomes president, Singaporeans will feel even more close to the state. I feel that being a genuine people person is something many of us have left out as the quality for the president. We talk of finance experience, diplomatic experience, and all this kind of high-level stuff. My father has all this experience, but I believe that the most important criteria I put in a president is whether he can connect with people. Do people feel comfortable with him? Can they be around him without feeling small? You know the feeling when you meet someone important, you feel a little intimidated already. Can this person put you at ease? When people are around my father, they are themselves. Yet he commands their respect, absolutely. That balance is hard to find and he has commanded this balance all through his career. He is by far the strongest candidate in this criteria. Tan Cheng Bok can be the true people's president for Singapore. I now want to talk a little bit about his corporate career. Being in the investment world myself, I actually believe his finance experience is the most relevant out of all the four candidates, with all due respect to them. This is because his experience as that of a non-executive chairman is closest to that of the elected president. The role of, the elected, uh, the role of a non-executive chairman is to ask tough questions whenever the CEO wants to do something major, like buy a company or make a major investment that might dip into the company's cash reserves. Similarly, the elected president's role is to ask the tough questions of the PM and his colleagues if they want to do something that might dip into our reserves. You see, my dad has been doing this kind of job in a smaller scale for 20 years. He has been a custodian for so long he has been asking tough questions of the CEOs for a very long time. Whenever I've met anyone in the business world, they always have a high regard for my dad as someone you cannot pull a fast one on. Woo! <sighs> Otherwise, why do you think he was invited to be on the board of ING Asia Private Bank? They asked him because his reputation preceded him and his experience does not stop there. He has been in custodian roles at so many places, at Chuan Hub, PCI, CDL, H Street, Dredging International, ING, and a stat board like LTA. I want to tell you, he has real custodial experience to ask the tough questions to safeguard your money. And my father is a real people's person. He has been a part of you. 
he has felt for you. You can trust him to represent you without fear or favor. Vote Dan Jang Bong!